guys and welcome to another video of alchemy stars um today i want to talk about this new mode the enlightened mode which do you know what it's something actually i kind of said for tall dog to do like about almost a year ago actually so i'm kind of really really happy that they kind of did it so there's kind of two parts to it we've got the enlightenment where we've got these fire modules forest modules and different they're different elemental modules and they allow you to upgrade the stats of your Aurorans. So they also upgrade all your main attribute water Aurorans. So they, I thought it kind of went up by levels. But what they, what kind of happens is you get these from the Enlightenment tra enlightened training. Which I'll talk about later. And they cost a different bit of money. And they cost a different amount. And then they'll go up 5 over 21. And then eventually when you get 21 of them. Or to that kind of mini level, then it will level up the whole module and go up to level one. Now, here you can see the different modules and what the stat boost you get at the top right. Really important thing is also if you click here, you've got this level preview. Now, I think the stat boosts you're getting are really, really, really minimal. Like they're, they're so small, it's just not even worth it almost. But the enhancement of the forest counter damage depending on how level how high a level these modules go if that continues to go up like one two percent per level that could be huge if it went up by 10 levels your count damage goes up to about 40 percent that's a lot of damage extra so it's really going to be worth doing like these modules and but they're going to take a long time to level up anyway so yeah now the way you level them up, um, there's only one way really at the moment. They're not in any of the stores, whether that's free, whether you want to buy them or redeem them in any of the tabs or mystery or anything like that. So they're not in anything else. So there's no way to kind of buy them in any way, shape or form. So the only way to get them really is to go to explore and the new enlightened training mode. Now, there's several kind of things about this. It is a weekly thing. So every week, your max rewards here, this top right hand corner will kind of reset. And obviously it tells you how much it's going to reset on the left here, what day it's going to reset. And I think each week you'll be able to kind of get, increase your maximum depending on the difficulty that you choose. And you'll get a certain amount of modules and rewards. Now, then you've got this max rewards. Now, every time you do a level, you get, I'll show you here, you'll get like this box of enlightenment. So here you'll get one, next level you might get one again, and then the next floor you might get two and so on. And again, you can get worth nine, to get up to 90 of them each week. These are not that good. Well, they're okay if you're a bit bored, but, and I guess it could make a difference after a while, especially the Jaspers and Sublimes, thinking about it, but actually Sublime times 30 is, not really that worth it so now the main things before you kind of prep is the, the team competition we'll talk about the gameplay itself as well in a minute but the team competitions are very different there seems to be 10 levels by the way but that may change when it comes to a different difficulty not too sure but the real kind of stars of this are kind of the support factions so this week because i say this week because i think it will change each week if you've got three with these or wrench warrens then you'll kind of get different triggers depending on how many tiles you remove and so this week obviously it's really or wrench and so you want to put this um in your team have three of them and then you can get this extra kind of damage but the real kind of star of this whole thing is these Aurorian Bonds, which is a really, really cool idea, actually. Um, really important thing about them is, obviously, you've got to own both characters. And you put them both in your team. Now, the key thing that they get is they will get to activate on the element of the main attributes, on their Bond partner's main attribute. So, for example, you've got Eve and Sinza. Even though they actually, well, the thing is, they're both fire and electric, vice versa, so they kind of would activate anyway. But a good example, actually, a great example is like Beryl and Raphael. 
like breath Raphael is a water type Beryl is a forest and fire so Beryl will now activate her chain combo on the fire tiles on the grass tiles and on the water tiles if she's got Raphael in her team so that's three out of the four elements um and there's a few other kind of good combinations like that I think so far I think Odin and Barbara are decent combinations because they can hit everyone um since and Eve are really good together just because of their active skills um so far you kind of really want to favor at least in the difficulty one you kind of want to favor characters which have really big active skills and really big column damage or big area damage teleporting is kind of not great just because of the nature of the mode which i'll kind of show later and um snipers for this difficulty one are not great either they tend to most of the enemies tend to be these crushes or these of the other ones which stun and they tend to be kind of four square nine square there wasn't actually any single ones in this difficulty so you kind of want to really focus on detonators this this difficulty or at least this week because they may change the whole thing each stage is i don't think it's random or oh, a few stages are random like your end boss is slightly different so yeah um i think i have found the best combination so far i don't know about these two but the best combination so far are either Sincer and eve because they just do a lot of damage together um Odie and barbara can do a lot of damage if there's later on lots of enemies and brock and fleur can do a bit damage but insane combo is beryl beryl and Raphael are pretty insane Especially kind of on auto. Just because Beryl is, she just seems to be really broken. Because she can go anywhere in the grid. And any chain combo she activates, then her spikes come. And the enemies just walk into them and they just take a ton of damage. And then cause, because she can activate as on the fire, the, the, the forest and on the water. She just always, always activating. And Raphael is amazing because she gets to heal, she gets to she does good column damage, and she converts, so she kind of does three things at once. Now the thing about this mode is it's kind of like a weird survival mode, but you get to heal, so it's not really a survival mode. But you have to clear the whole mode within a hundred rounds, and maybe the next difficulties will have less rounds, or you'll take. I imagine you'll take more damage. Plus, they'll have less rounds, so that could be, become an issue. Um, yeah, so the rounds st stuck up, and so therefore you kind of like have to clock your rounds. But this first difficulty, there was, I mean, you can do these rounds, you can do the whole thing in less than 20 turns. You can probably get away with, if you if you did it really well, you could probably do it in like 15. Um, but yeah, this is how it kind of looks. It's really good interface for it. Um, this is one of the teams I use. Notice how obviously you can only have two sets of bonds activated. I'm not even sure if I've got enough red easel. I don't think I'm doing this team actually. So if I now go into a battle. You'll kind of see how the gameplay works. It's, I'm just going to put an auto just so you can see it quite fast. Um, it's a really good change of pace. I guess it's kind of like a really different way to kind of play the game and kind of how to look at how to look at alchemy stars which i really appreciate and that's why like different characters kind of almost get to shine or kind of like are really kind of could be really good but this is the kind of main thing really like they then the combo is hitting you just got to go anywhere so that's why teleporting is just terrible and then there's bro just kills everything I think when Barrel activates, she just kind of does a ton of damage. See, there's Barrel activating, and then look, watch, watch what happen. We'll all survive, and they'll just walk into the spikes, and take a ton, and take a ton of damage, and die. So, <laughs> yeah, Barrel is quite insane. Um, you also do get gears a bit like in the Secret Territory. Um, the ones you want to focus on really, mainly, are any that 
lower the active skills or increase damage. Anything about losing HP probably could be really good if you've got good healers in there. And these aren't actually that great because they have conditions about moving, removing 50 towers. But yeah, overall, it's, they're, they're all right abilities. And then you'll get your boxing enlightenment. So again, you can get 90 of them in a week I mean, like I said not really worth it because that's all I can get now from once I've got once you've got this maximum of the total score that's all you can get these boxes which are kind of I guess all over time if you do it every week they'll make a difference but it's so minimal that it's kind of not really worth it um I would say best teams really for this difficulty are like thunder and water teams they tend to be like those kind of enemies like tend to have water and fire enemies here and like i said good combinations is beryl and Raphael. like it doesn't matter here i mean this difficulty one you can as you can see you can just you can auto it and it will be fine i mean i do have like level 80 teams so they're pretty strong anyway but they will kind of do what they need to do but yeah, I think like that's the kind of main thing. See out there, they just run into barrel spikes. And you and because you can move anywhere you want. Just barrel just does a thing. No sorts. I guess I'll let this kind of finish. But yeah, that's the kind of main thing about this mode. It's it's really it's, it's, like I said, it's a really good mode. I think we're going to be we're going to be upgrading modules for a very very long time. And see, look, the, the the enemies don't even have to move, and they're getting spiked. And then there, there you go, barrel just kills everything. Um, yeah, I think it's a very good mode. It's kind of it's refresh. I mean, I'm really really enjoying our King Stars lately, just in terms of the amount of content they're doing. And new kind of things that they've added in the last kind of six months. So I really give them credit for kind of keeping the game alive but also fresh as well. And yeah, as you can see, auto kind of does it for the win. Again, there's some support kind of gears. I'd say this is probably a good one because it just does more damage. The higher the damage of a Roaring's chain combo increases it or the closer they are. There is one which is like the further they are, the more damage it is. So, yeah. We do that. And we get another enlightened box. And that's the main thing. I will next week kind of drop a video about difficulty two. Difficulty one should be just doable. It, seems, it feels like just being ascended free. And even level ones would be able to do a good amount of damage. Again, this is about detonators. And lots of kind of like, yeah, high detonator, column column damage characters can do well because you can just teleport to the bottom and do column damage away from the enemies anyway. So it doesn't matter so much. Oh, this is to check your gears. And yeah, I think do enjoy the mode. Do check it out and make sure you kind of try and get your maximum for the week. You've got a whole week or this time you've got four days, but... You've got a whole week to do that. And with that, I will see you on the next video. Bye.